that study actually was a blow to women's health in general mm -hmm. and yeah. every provider, every doc that was giving hormones to women. But also studies have disproven the earlier study that was damning. And then they realized the replacement agent were the, the culprits. Yes. So it was a difference really between synthetic hormone replacement therapy. So in that 1991 Women's Health Initiative study, they were using conjugated equine estrogen, which is Premarin, and they were using progestins, which are also synthetic. So what we found that not only was the synthetic product less safe, mm -hmm. but the women had also associated comorbidities like diabetes, high cholesterol. And so what we found was a 26.1% increased risk of breast cancer in that study, but mm. it was flawed. The true data showed one woman in 1,000 over four years. Mm -hmm. So when you look at it statistically, four women in 4,000 over four years, that's not statistically significant. Yeah. But also because they were using a natural form of, that's not endogenous to the human body, right? No. Why do you think they were using equine estrogen? <laughs> <laughs>